Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has also released our first Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 23H2 for this year. And the update is KB5050021. And because Patch Tuesday updates are mandatory automatic updates, once the update has been applied, 23H2's build will be bumped up to 22631.4751. Now the update fixes a good couple of security issues in 23H2 and it addresses 120 vulnerabilities and that's exactly the same amount as Windows 10 as I posted earlier today. And we get five critical and 115 important vulnerabilities that have been patched. Now those critical vulnerabilities, all five, consist of remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means that access could be gained to your system over a network or um, over the internet. So five critical vulnerabilities and 120 in total, which is quite a lot of security issues that have been patched. So quite an important security update rolling out for Windows 11 23H2. Now the security update includes improvements that were part of KB5048685 which was our December 2024 Patch Tuesday update for 23H2 and because we didn't get any optional updates at the end of December because of the holidays if you didn't install that update for whatever reason maybe you paused it maybe there were issues then those improvements will be carried over into this update for January. Now, I have posted um, a video on 5048685, so that will be linked down below and in the end screen. But just a quick recap uh, for the purpose of today's video. We get, first of all, start menu jump list improvements. So there are a couple of new features. And if you pin a app now to your start menu, you can see it now includes jump lists, just like the taskbar. So that's a bit of a new uh, tweak and adjustment. The system tray shows a shortened date and time. Now I'm not seeing that yet, even on 23, sorry, even on 24H2, but that is on a controlled rollout. All of these new features Microsoft mentioned back in December of last year when this update rolled out, that they are on a gradual rollout. The notification bell icon here to the right of the system tray might not show if you have set the toggle for do not disturb to on. I'm still not seeing that. And if we head over to our settings page and head to our Bluetooth and devices mouse page, uh, there are new mouse options in settings, so that would include your enhanced pointer precision, which was only previously available in the legacy control panel, and that's now become available um, in the more modern settings menu. So um, you can toggle that on and off, which I think is nice. And then you've also got a scrolling direction, so you can down motion scrolls down, down motion scrolls up. So those are the um, new mouse options uh, in the settings, which I think is great. And there were also some task manager user interface improvements. So go check that other video out if you'd like some more information. And just going to mention the next, you can also share content to an Android device from the context menu. I'm not seeing that yet. That's also on a gradual rollout. And we also get dynamic lighting settings page improvements, accessibility improvements. And then if you hold shift and control, and then click a jump list item. Apparently this opens the item as an admin. I'm still not seeing that. So that's a couple of the new improvements and features that rolled out with that previous update 5048685, which are now carried over into this latest update for 23H2 5050021. And that's more or less what is new. And then over and above um, that, we also get a fix or an improvement for the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list file where the update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for uh, bring your own vulnerability, sorry, bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. And that also was made available for Windows 10. 
So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.